Hey, if you're new to the channel, my name is Marco. I'm a former pro opera singer turned voice actor. I love video game music. I love talking about video game music. I love analyzing video game music. And I am very excited because today I'm going to be listening to Jin, the virtuoso from League of Legends. I've watched and listened to this one time each. I think video game music is in an incredible position as far as advancing compositional style and as far as reaching an audience much, much wider than any symphonic work uh, in a symphony hall could and that is one of the most amazing parts about video game music is that it has the capacity to connect you to characters and to emotions this piece the one time i listened to it absolutely knocked my freaking socks off i'm pumped to talk about this game i'm pumped to talk about this i'm pumped to listen to it again so here we go So when we talk about Jin the Virtuoso, what I assume virtuoso means, I obviously understand that a virtuoso is someone that is incredibly talented and naturally gifted at playing an instrument, in this case the instrument being the gun. He's clearly a hired assassin. From my understanding of uh, the cinematic trailer which I watched previous to recording this, if I remember correctly, he's an assassin and he's tasked with, in the cinematic trailer, he's tasked with assassinating somebody. I mean, the, the use of of ba -bum, bum, ba -ba -dum. the fact that we're using the gun cocking and reloading and firing as a musical gesture is one of the most fascinating things I've ever heard in any work period ever. It is incredible. It is astounding. So right off the bat, we have this choir here as well. And all of this is obviously setting the scene, right? But in, in this login screen, he's looking at himself in the mirror. And I think there's a lot of self hatred that this character possesses, right? I think, understandably, he has a job to do. Nothing will get in the way of him achieving what he needs to do. The stakes are high for him no matter what. I don't know why, but I think this mirror is broken. He's looking at himself. He probably has some sort of self-disgust and, and he doesn't feel good. But in order to survive, he has to do what has to be done. I think he's become proficient, for better or for worse, in handling weaponry. And that is what he knows how to do. And he's locked into that no matter what. There are two sides to Jin because when we hear the chorus, we have ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho oh, ho in the women, and then we have the echo in the men. Ho oh, 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 ho oh. ho. We have that duality here. It's not, it's not for a lack of reason. There's a reason for why there's a duality and there's this call and response between the uh, singers.
This still moment here, I think, is a reflection on the past. It's a reflection on self. It's a reflection of what what came before and what has led to Jin donning this mask and taking a part in in this this life of of vengeance and violence. You know, if I recall correctly, there is some vengeance component here. He is trying to wrong a right, go down that list, possibly in the same way that Pike is, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, using the violin, a virtuosic instrument, as we know it, it is ingenious because one could have easily used the piano and instead chose to use the violin, which we understand as a, as a, it's a quintessentially virtuosic instrument. You know, when I think of a, a violin, I think of, I think of this cl classically classical um, co instrument that is, that is known to be a virtuosic instrument. So that makes so much sense. And here, Maru, Maru. there's a quality to the, to the vocalists here that indicates the sort of longing to go back to something, but being unable to s escape current circumstances. You, you feel the agony. You feel the pain in Jin's spirit. Understanding that life has dealt him a, a bad card. That suddenly things don't make sense anymore. And that the only way to move forward is to go down a path that he probably wouldn't have gone down had things been different. I can't remember the circumstances and I can't remember if they're in the cinematic. We'll, we'll watch that in a second. But there is such a an immense feeling of, of, of pain in here that this is not just this is not just a, 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 a person who wants to assassinate and wants to murder and wants to to you know use his weapon and and infiltrate and and you know do great harm there there is that is not this person this person has had a different life before this and they were forced and put into a circumstance where they couldn't look back and they couldn't change things and, and making, uh, making do with what is in front of them is the only thing that they can do now. And, uh, and you hear that. This is such a stark difference from what we hear when we open with this bullet reload uh, drum propel propulsion. Um, <laughs> To end like that is so powerful. We don't go back to that first opening we heard where we saw this vengeful demon essentially uh, claiming uh, 
claiming victims and 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 doing his job right in this second sh section in this second section we really feel and hear the pain and the suffering that Jin has experienced and uh, it carries with him every single day and uh, the fact that we end on this mm, it, it leaves us uh, in in a way uh, open-ended there are so many possibilities here and and maybe there is even the chance for salvation for this character though highly unlikely let's quickly pivot to the mind of the virtuoso champion teaser i i believe i've seen this before but i can't remember everything in it uh so let's check it out Uh, the imagery here is stunning so clearly this is someone that Jin had loved and the roses signify that love and the ash and them falling apart and disintegrating is all because of uh, this is you know this was what was keeping him alive what was she was keeping him together keeping him a good person perhaps His mind now, everything that he does is is done in in revenge of the loss of this of this partner, this person he deeply cared about. And that imagery of the flower, I think, is actually like sort of her. Essentially, everything is done for her, despite the fact that she is no longer alive. Um, which is extremely, I mean, that is incredibly powerful. This is a person that has become torn and twisted by their suffering and by their grief and by their desire to go back to the way things were and now they simply uh have to do everything in their power to feel something uh, it's unclear if if Jin is dead or 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 what but but there is there is this sort of essence it probably was you know a, a man who maybe was very classy and and had everything set up and then suddenly everything was stripped away from him and this is what he was left with and so perhaps perhaps he was perhaps he himself was a sort of virtuosic person he carried himself with respect he he was kind he was he was gracious and then suddenly maybe maybe he was a musician even and then he was turned to this dark path and so he became a virtuoso of something else, kind of in the way that I left the opera world to to start this YouTube channel and and have poured myself into this. So maybe maybe I carry similarities with with Jin the virtuoso in some ways too. I don't know. It's it's interesting from from the perspective of a musician. If Jin was why is he called the virtuoso? Because he's very very good at what he does. But what was that thing before? he turned to this violence. In any case, if you like these, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. It does help me out. I love your enthusiasm, especially for this League stuff, uh, which is always so phenomenal and pleasant and, and amazing to listen to. So I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks so much to all the Patreon supporters. It really, uh, really means a lot to have you support the channel. This was a suggestion from the Patreon. Uh, as always, thanks a ton and I'll talk to you later. Bye.